This video is a tutorial video for Civil 3D 2018 on how to use sheet sets to be more efficient and save time with printing and page numbering, etc. Um, so a sheet set is a very nice way to keep the active drawings that you're going to print or submit in a list so that you know which drawings are correct and the ones you need to print. There's nothing worse than being jumped into a job and don't know which um, drawings are the right ones in the directory. You know, people have done save as's and might have done a test but not deleted the drawing after they're done with it and you don't really know which ones are the correct ones. A sheet set is the best way to keep a working list of drawings that are to be used with the, the project and then printed. Um, it's also a really good way to print because it will print in the background while you're doing other things and you can also use fields that are um, attached to the sheet set and for your numbers and other things and you can change those numbers without opening each sheet you print without opening every sheet it's just sheet sets are very nice and save you a lot of time um, a sheet set looks for or is a DST file so when you go um, up here at the very top you go to open and you're gonna look for a DST file I've already got the one that I'm going to use selected but I wanted to show you what it looked like it's a .DST file um, to add drawings into the dot into the sheet set you right click on the very top and you can say import layout of sheet and browse for drawings and then it will if you click on this it will bring a drawing and I'll show you later how that works but I, that's the uh, you know it's pretty easy to bring stuff in um, if the drawing is already in a different sheet set it will not allow one drawing to be in two different sheet sets so that's kind of a a thing you might run into. Um, so if, if you have layouts in the drawing you can also split them into subsets so if you wanted to make a subset for your general sheets you right click create new subset name that subset general and then you just hit OK probably put it at the bottom so uh, if you click on it drag it up above everything and let go it shows that black bar as to where it's going to land and then if you want to move layouts into the a subset you select all of your layouts click them and just hover over the subset and let go and it'll drop those sheets into that subset give you a plus sign over here on the left um, so that's how you kinda can split out your drawings um, based on what discipline or what uh, specific stuff is in the drawing it makes it easier because you have groupings um, uh, so as you can see there's numbers on the side here um, if you click on a layout right click and go rename and renumber it shows you the information that is contained inside that layout um, sheet number one this is the title and this is the file name that it, this layout is found um, if you want to change the title just edit there if you want to if you need to adjust the numbers, you just uh, you can change it to oh any change it to anything. Hit enter, and it's going to go to the next one. And then as quick as you can say o one o two o three o four o one enter o two enter o three enter o four enter and so on, it'll work through to the end of the drawings. It's taking this one a little longer because I'm working over a VPN into the database network so 
the file server so it's ta it takes a little while to go through the sheet renumbering over VPN and as you can see it went to the next one after I hit enter and it's going to pop that window up and then I would be able to change the number here but if you just hit 01 enter 02 enter and so on to the end of your your, your layouts it will work its way through and be done after you get to that number um, the, the one downside to having split out subsets is when you get to the end of that subset you have to move down to the next one and then click on the layout and right click and go to rename and renumber and then you'll be able to go through you know 09 through 18 if you were adding a sheet there um, just general um, if you you can see that it shows you what drawings are somebody's in them I'm in this drawing has two layouts utilities and general notes um, if you hover over a layout it gives you the general information um, who's in it who saved it last when it was saved um, that way if somebody's in a drawing you need you can it, it'll be easy to find out who's in the drawing you can say get out of the drawing I need to do this or can you let me know when you're gonna be out um, printing from a sheet set is the easiest way to print from CAD to a PDF or a, a paper set or or whatever you're trying to whatever file type you're trying to save to. Um, if you want to print the entire set, that the very top, click on that, go to publish, page setup override, and then I have a drawing that has all of these page setup layouts put in it so that if I need a full size, half size. You know, there's various different different setups um, in that drawing. Uh, when you first create a sheet set, you have to set that to look at that page setup override. So if you click on that, go to the properties, and look here, it's going to look for what's the path for that page setup override, and it looks for a .dwt file. So you have to set up page layout, a page setup, print setups in a .dwt template, and then browse to it, and it will populate that. Um, again, if you click publish, publish using page, page setup override, it will, you know, it'll populate this list. Um, if you want to print just one drawing, you can click on it and do that publish you know, publish page setup whichever way you, you know PDF 22 by 34 if you're wanting to print a few drawings you just hit the shift select them and right click to get to the publish page setup override and your page setup override um, you can print by just clicking the you, you know the um, individual I lost for the word it is a subset so if you want to print just by the subsets click on the subset sorry control to get just subsets say you didn't want the PMPs or the cross sections that'll print just what I have highlighted again by right click publish page setup override if you wanted a few sheets and a couple, another subset after that just pick shift the sheets you want and then control click the subset you want left click right click and then publish page setup override it is the most efficient way to print your sheets is using the sheet set um, all right, so I'm going to add a subset and then add a layout in to show you how that works. So I'm going to click here and create a new subset. It's going to come, in, come at the bottom. If you have a really long sheet set with a lot of sheets, you know, you, you'll have to know to look at the bottom when you're adding in a subset. So I'm going to add in an MOT, maintenance of traffic subset. And then I'm gonna, once it wakes up, I'm gonna 
click on it, right click, import layout as sheet. It's going to pull up a, a window to browse for drawings. And I, I'm going to add this drawing in, say OK. It's going to put it in the list. And you can add multiple drawings, you just whichever, however many you highlight, you just, it'll put them in a list here. Um, if you want to put the prefix of the sheet title, put the file name in front of the sheet title, you leave that checked. Say import checked. It's, it's saying up here if that you can only have one drawing in one sheet set. You can't have one, a, a drawing in multiple sheet sets. And it, it lets you know that this may or may not have been in the sheet set at one time. But it's going to let me bring it in because it's not currently in a sheet set. So it'll take a second and then it'll put a plus sign and populate down here. Um, if you want to move that sheet set and layout, it is best to minimize these um, subsets. So if I, I was going to put it between general sheets and erosion control, you slide, drop it up there and let it go and it'll show a black line where it's going to fall and then you have it there. Um, Alright, so these numbers in the sheet set are read by fields. Um, it, if you want to add a field, you can start with just a regular piece of M text and then highlight it, right click, insert field, and then it pulls up a list of a very comprehensive list of possibilities. Uh, you can you know, there's, there's a really a lot of things you can add in there and get real deep in the fields and then be able to update it from the sheet set. I use sheet set and then I browse to a, my specific .dst file sheet set so that way I know that the sheet number is going to be from this sheet set. If you use, um, if you don't use the sheet set, if you use current sheet, um, it will it'll give you a number but it won't be it won't necessarily be to this layout if that makes sense um, so I I click on this and then if I wanted it to be the sheet description say okay and there's not a sheet description put in for this so hmm, that's not right it's giving me dashes so if you click on it again right click edit field Let's go sheet title because I know I have a sheet title and it'll update, put the sheet title in there. We're just needing the number. So you click again, edit field, sheet number and say OK. It's going to duplicate. This is the same field, but I was showing it how to create it. Um, there's a lot you can do with this, the fields. I prefer the fields because you don't have to open every sheet to renumber if you add a sheet very late in the game you can just right click renumber run through the renumbering and then if I was to change this here to XX say OK wait for it to get done thinking about it and then do a regen so that the field updates it'll say XX that is you know that is the best way to number in your sheets is with um, it's with the fields you can you know you can make any any you know different some of these different texts that are in a lot of different sheets you can make them fields so that they can be changed here um, in this project I've just got the sheet numbers set as fields um, but you can get as deep as you want to get because it is very you can do a lot with it I like it um, so I'm going to change that back to O2 over here so that somebody doesn't get into my sheet set and wonder why there's XX there when it should be O2 say O2 wait for it to think about it for a second reach in Back to O2. 
if there are files and subsets that you do not want in your drawing you left click on the layout right click say remove sheet and it'll it'll give you a warning saying are you sure you want to remove this it removes this layout from the .dst file it does not delete it from your directory you say okay and then same with the subset you just click on the subset remove subset and it goes away and that is a overview of how to use sheet sets it's the most efficient way to keep a list of the drawings that you have current in your project it's the easiest way to print them it's the easiest way to number the sheets sheet sets are very nice I hope this helps uh, when you're using Civil 3D um, it's the best way.